partner, family, and friends, welcome to Brain Fitness. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to start today the way we always start with brain integration exercises. So from a nice, comfortable seated position, go ahead and join me. Let's get started. So with our right hand, we're just going to put that flat out. And if it's a familiar one, give me a thumbs up. Great, perfect. I see all those thumbs. Left hand out flat. And so now we just want to switch. So switch. So your left hand has that thumbs up and your right hand is now flat. Okay? And we're going to just switch. And then also if it's challenging, just look at your own hands and switch and switch. So everybody, right thumbs up, left hand flat and switch and switch. Now we're going to do double time. Switch, 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 and switch, 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 switch. Great job. Okay, so this one's a little more challenging. We're going to take that right hand. We're going to put it out and we're going to make circles. You can do in or out, whatever you're most comfortable with. So just get some circles going with your right hand. Then we're going to take that left hand, put it out there flat for a second, and then you're going to make straight lines out. So there you go. Straight lines out with the left and continue to make circles with the right. It's a little challenging. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna switch. So we're gonna do it on the other side. So with our left hand, we're gonna put that one out and start making circles. So get those circles going, get that rhythm. And let's add that left hand in. First, put it out flat for a minute. Great, now make that nice, line out with your left hand. Woo! So it should be circling with your left, straight lines with your right. Always my tip, if you're struggling, as I am, is to watch your own hands. Okay, great job, everyone. So the, so the next exercise we're gonna do is called finish the line. And so for finish the line, I'll provide the first half of the expression and then you'll provide the second half and today's theme today's theme is body expressions okay so let's do them together just call out the second half so apply elbow apply elbow grease got it foaming at the mouth have a knee jerk reaction Get off my back. Get your mind out of the gutter. Bend over backwards. Nearly jumped out of my skin. Hold at arm's length. Give you the cold shoulder. That is close to my heart. Okay, let's do two more. Welcome with open arms. One more. Let cooler heads prevail. Okay, great job everyone. So now we've warmed up our brains. Let's get started with the real workout. So this is word finding skills. So you have to have that paper and that pencil ready to go. We're going to give you a category and you're going to write down as many words as you can um, within that category. And so we'll start, we'll start with the letter A. So as many words as you can write down that start with the letter A, 60 seconds, go.
Okay, welcome back. So, alligator, apple, antelope, and many, many more. So the second level is gonna be a bit more challenging. So these are letters that end with the letter A. So they end with the letter A, like Nova, 60 seconds on the clock, go. you're going to pull out different three letter word three letters and make nine letter words out of them all related to a theme so the first theme is autumn so here's your three letters and you're going to group them together to form four nine letter words two minutes on the clock
Okay, let's see what we found. Scarecrow, uh, scarecrow, persimmon, cranberry, and deciduous. Okay, so now you've got the concept. Let's do it again. The theme here is football. Are you ready for some football? You've got two minutes on the clock. Welcome back. Let's see these football terms. Broadcast, offensive, scrimmage, opponents. Got it? Let's move on. So this is Halloween costumes. Halloween costumes, two minutes on the clock. Welcome back. Let's find those Halloween costumes. Ballerina, Hobgoblin, Snow White, Superhero. Okay, good job, guys. Guys, math, gymnastics. So before we do our math, let's take some deep breaths, okay? We're going to take three deep breaths, kind of clear the head, 
Get ready for mat. Start to feel better already. Let's do it again. That's two. One more. That's three. Now we're ready for our mat. Uh, how many ways can you arrive at the number 10? So you can use paper and pencil for this. You're gonna have uh, 60 seconds on the clock. And how many ways can you come up with the number 10? Good luck. divided by five is also 10. Okay, so it's the same concept. The number 13, how many ways can you come up with the number 13? Now we're gonna give you 60 seconds on the clock, but if you find that you need a little more time, that's absolutely fine. Just pause the screen and take your time. So 60 seconds on the clock. divided by 3, 13, 8 plus 5, 13, and you might have other ways as well. Let's do this again. The number 14, 60 seconds on the clock. Seventeen minus three, fourteen. 
7 times 2, 14. 24 minus 10 is 14. And 28 divided by 2 is also 14. Great job, everyone. So creative connections. You can get a paper and pencil for this one. We're going to give you two minutes on the clock. We want to explore our creative side. And these creative connections are really looking at how you can relate words together. So in the end, you're finding three categories. So you're going to have nine words, and you're going to split them up into three categories. Okay? Two minutes on the clock. Here's the first one.
Okay, welcome back. Let's see what categories we have. Movie theater, carnival, and beach. Great, great job. Let's do it again. up let's check out those categories we got butterfly garden and sky oh, I think that was supposed to be clouds did that mess you up too much sorry guys I missed that one math Olympics okay multiple step word problems and a time crunch so we're just going to do about 15 seconds for these, but you can always pause it if you need more time. But this math exercise, we're trying to do quick, quick, quick. Okay, ready? How much is $2, four dimes, and eight pennies? $2 and 48 cents. So we're going to move a little quicker as we keep going. How much is $6, four quarters and eight pennies. Seven dollars and eight cents. Good. How much is ten nickels and thirty-four pennies? Eighty-four cents. Good job. Name four different kinds for the for the given question. So this is one of those think fast puzzles and you're gonna give four answers, okay? So let's do this first one together. Name four animals or insects that have either spots or stripes. So we're thinking spots or stripes, you need to come up with four. Giraffe, leopard, tiger, and zebra. Okay, so these next ones you're gonna move quickly and just call out the answers really loud so I can hear you. Name four different kinds of soup and chicken noodle, tomato, vegetable, and clam chowder. Good. Name four emotions that start with the letter A. Anger, affection, adoration, acceptance. Name four birds that have colorful feathers. Four birds that have colorful feathers. A peacock, a parrot, a macaw, and a toucan. Good job, everybody. Name four breakfast foods that involve eggs. Four breakfast foods that involve eggs. 
How about omelet, eggs benedict, breakfast burrito, and there's many, many more endless opportunities with eggs. Name four noises that animals or birds are known to make. This is a fun one. Bark, <laughs> meow, a howl, or a growl. I hope you were making those noises too. What do we have in common? So we're gonna give you three words and then you're just gonna tell us what they all have in common. This is another think fast, so call out the answers. Make sure that I can hear you at the front of the room here, okay? Notre Dame, wine, fashion, Eiffel Tower, or the Louvre? Of course, that's Paris, France, okay? So we're thinking fast. And you might even get it with the first or second clue. Tent, sleeping bag, flashlight, backpack, marshmallows, my favorite thing, stamping. Okay, upright, grand, pedals, keyboard, Steinway, not the piano, pack, howl, fur, white, fang, call of the wild, wolf. What do they have in common? Pummel horse, uneven bars, balance beam, dismount. Gymnastics and not our regular math gymnastics. What do we have in common? Cover, pages, chapters, headings, table of contents, and index, and books. Rhyme time. So this is a different exercise. This is a little bit new for us, so let's take a minute to go over this together. So I'm gonna give you a clue, and each of the clues, the answers are two words that rhyme. So let's look at this together. Celestial object at a distance, far star. So I give you this funny little clue, and the answer is two words that rhyme, far star. Got it? Okay, let's see if you can do these by yourself. Subdued reaction to a joke. Subdued reaction to a joke. Give you a couple more seconds there. Five, four, three, two, one, half laugh. Get it? Subdued, not all the way there, reaction to a joke. So that's a half laugh. I hope you're laughing. Okay, stay with me, you can do this. It, it may make a runner miss the base. It may make the runner miss the base. The answers rhyme, two words. It may make the runner miss the base. Five, four, three, two, one. Wide slide. Went a little wide on that slide in home. Fun 24 hours. Fun 24 hours. Two words that rhyme. Five, four, three, two, one. Play day. Play day. Play date would have been okay, I guess, too, but the 24 hours signals a day, so kind of would be play day. Identification problem. Identification problem. So when you, your identity, who is that? That's your name. Same name. Same name. Good job because this is a new puzzle for us. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Okay, just for fun, it's time for our Rebus puzzles. Remember, these are puzzles that are about common phrases. So it's a picture puzzle that represents a common phrase. And so funny, I did these with my kids and apparently these are not so common phrases that young people know because they didn't solve any of these. So let's give it a go. All things, all things. This is nice and big, this is a little smaller. Give me a second there. All things great and small. Could have been all things big and small as well because that's a pretty common phrase as well. 
okay? Right away, what's popping out at you? Right here, crisis. And it's in the middle, right? Of the word L-I-F-E. So crisis is in the middle of the word life. Mid-life crisis. So L-E-A-S-T, least, and the E is crossed out. And if you take out the E, what do you have? You have last. So last, but not least. Aid, aid, aid. There's three aids. The arrow's pointing to the first one. So this is first aid. Good job. History, history, history. Three histories right next to each other. History repeats itself, and sometimes it surely does. Okay, thank you guys for joining us for our brain fitness class. We miss you guys so much, but I'm so glad that you're working out your brain and hope you're working out your body as well. See you soon. Stay well.